Morning Callaway one. Welcome back to another episode of Jay's Lock and Daily. Uh, I'm Jay and this is my garden. It is now Thursday the 19th of August and it's around about 3 o'clock. Uh, I just want to say before I start, uh, I just want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the Gardener channel of course and uh, I've been on this pot now for three years. It's my third year of uh, growing stuff, uh, all new to it and uh, it's been fantastic. Uh, just learning as I go. So any tips you got or any advice you got, feel free to file them over. Uh, I will take them on board. Or if you want to ask me a question, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I appreciate all the likes and all your comments as well. Thank you very much. Uh, but aye uh, guys, uh, me and my dad's been up to the garden now for a couple of hours and uh, we're just starting to get things cleared out in this garden. Just starting to pull out all the stuff what's starting to board, uh, stuff what's not looking very good and uh, we're starting to clear the ground and just getting it all prepared uh, ready for over winter we're all going to grow stuff over winter uh, we're going to try anyway uh, we've got a little patch at the top of the garden uh, i'll let you have a little look at that when we go up there and uh, i'll show you what we're doing uh, we're just going to hide different varieties of stuff in some cabbages uh, cauliflowers uh, romanessos make like cauliflowers i think that's what they're called this sort of stuff, pacho, uh, all round lettuces, all that sort of stuff. We're just going to give it a shot and just see if anything comes from it. Uh, the rest of the floor pots, if you do for us, uh, they'll just be getting just dug over and just be getting left to the weather. And at the moment, I'm growing some croissants, some nice big croissants, and uh, most of them I'm starting to bring inside of here because, uh, like I say, guys, for the past few days now, we've been hit with some uh, rain, and the rain will damage these uh, flowers. Unfortunately, uh, so next year now we've got a bit of an idea. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a load of them grown outside and get some uh, shell out over the top of them uh, just to protect them from the weather. Uh, but we're going to it. I spin these around and let's have a little look. Uh, I'm going to take a little, little harvest because I've got some stuff that I want to take home. Uh, I want some fresh eggs and that, and they uh, also got a couple of cabbages there, some leeks and some onions as well. I will let you go through the garden and we'll have a little look through and just see uh, how things are actually got on. Sweet corn's looking fantastic. Uh, they're, they're starting to pick up nicely now. They're a nice size. Uh, they're starting to swell out. Did make a little booboo on them uh, by uh, mixing a couple of variety of plants next to each other. Uh, but the cobs look okay because I have peeled one of them back and uh, I can see plenty of kernels on them. Uh, so fingers crossed uh, we'll get a nice crop of sweet corn i will let you have a, a look at that as well also guys i've been inside the pony tunnel uh, we're starting to get that cleared out and all i've started to put out all the petunias and just getting it all cleaned out uh, well making a start on getting it all cleaned out all the chilies and stuff like that are looking fantastic in there uh, we've got some lovely tomatoes which are right and spot on and also all the uh, cucumbers they're looking fantastic and all i've just been taking them i've been getting the cucumber once twice a week off the plant and it's just one plant and it just keeps on producing all the time absolutely fantastic yeah uh, but yeah guys i'm starting to get stuff cleared up inside of there because i want to put some stuff inside of that pony tunnel for over winter just some lettuces and some of that stuff we're looking at uh, to see what sort of stuff we can grow in there over the winter uh, so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'll spin these around we'll have a quick little look at these here uh, kasams here uh, the belly bell uh, which is looking absolutely beautiful and the other one, I can't remember the name of it. I have to have a look, look, look and uh, find out what the name of it because I lost the name tag. Uh, but I'll spin these around now, guys, and we'll have a quick little look. Okay. Right, guys, so I'll spin these around. Here, uh, got some chilies here, here uh, which are looking kind of good. Uh, got some more little chilies there. These were just spares. Uh, these are the plants here. So this is the Billy Bell. Absolutely lush. Lush still opening up uh reason why i bought them inside the pony tunnel for is because sorry in the greenhouse is because as soon as they get hit with water it damages them uh, this one here is a little bit of an example uh, i think this has been damaged a bit because some of the leaves are like brown and it's due to the due to the water what's been lying on top of them uh, i can't remember the name of this one I don't know if this is a salmon i'm not too sure uh, but I, I, or primrose uh, but i will find out uh, but like i say they're absolutely fantastic we've got some more what i'm starting to open up so starting to show color on this one so this is why i brought this one inside of here 
because any water gets in there any water gets in there it just damages the the, the plant this is why uh, we're going to be doing the, this year was just a little experiment to see how the flowers grow because i never grew these before and uh, i saw pictures and videos of them and absolutely stunning and uh, i managed to get some decent stock of uh, some good growers top growers and uh, like uh, john peace i got a few plants off him uh, at the beginning of the year around about march time and they, they were absolutely fantastic uh, i've done a christopher lawson and uh, i've done a uh, allison a uh, piece as well uh, they got hit with a lot of water damage and uh, the, the flower came too early it was it was going to be for shows they came too early the flower uh, but they got hit with a uh, water and uh, the the grew but the, the they just rotted away uh, if you go back with previous videos you will see them flowers because i've kept on doing a little update on them uh, so i have learned a lot about them uh, they do like to have cover over the top of them so we're going to look into that next year uh, these plants down here once they're flowered uh, i will be chopping them back and then i'll be taking them up home and then round about next year time around about february time uh, they'll be going on the heat mats and then i'll be starting me or january time something like that after looking at it they'll be going on the heat mats up at home uh, once they start developing the uh, cuttings i'll take cuttings from them and then i will uh, put them under the light till they get a hold and then i'll bring them down to the garden into the frost uh, frost free greenhouse uh, the mothers the mother plants uh, i'll just keep them and i'll just let them grow on and uh, but i will be using them to get cuttings from them and stuff like that uh, so it is quite complicated uh, they're not just as simple as just growing the flower uh, it's a lot of work and a lot of time what needs to be put into them so next year this is what i'm going to be trying to focus on this sort of stuff i will be going with edge and, and, and stuff like that but this is what i'm going to be focusing on uh, i have been working on another plot uh, two friends plot and uh, he wants to get into this sort of stuff as well uh, i will try and get up there and show you what we've been up though because we're just starting to just clear everything uh, get everything flat clear everything out uh, it's a lot a lot of timber there it was used as like a little wood yard and uh, we're getting it all cleared out and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to set some potting tunnels up and stuff uh, i will try and get this down there on this video because i want to get it uploaded uh to just have a little look to see where we're up to but this is the stuff what he wants to get into uh the big giant leeks and the onions and also these flowers as well because absolutely stunning really stunning so i probably got round about nine different varieties just trying to get it with the light so i probably got about nine different varieties of of these uh so different kinds different colors uh where i want to take cuttings from and just have a load of them grown if i can uh, we've got a little melon here so there's a nice little melon here hanging i just put in a little bucket down there it was just a spare bit of mesh round and uh we've got a little melon on grapevine's doing spot on hopefully next day is going to be better for her well i've got some grapes on uh, but like i say this is only its second year uh, so you know at the end of the day guys uh, i'm just going to stop it there where it is and let it run here and we'll just see what we'll get on next year but they're swelling up nicely uh, so i will get a taste of one of them uh, it's supposed to be a new variety 20 2020 something like that uh couldn't tell you what what they're all what kind it is or what uh but quite looking forward to have a little nibble on one of them uh but everything in here seems to be doing okay like i say it's full of chilies and full of peppers and uh, it's been spot on and these yeah absolutely stunning beautiful beautiful so guys what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and uh, i'll show you what's going on uh, it's not a lot going on out there at the moment because like i say we're starting to get things cleared up uh, we're starting to take harvests from stuff and uh, basically just starting to get the uh, garden just here uh, cleaned up basically uh, tidied up so what i do is i spin these around we'll go outside we'll go and have a look at these uh, delias yeah because i've got some de lovely delias there and they're starting to uh, get the flower head showing up so i'll spin these around now and go and have a little look okay right and guys there uh, so first things first we'll have a look at these delias so these delias guys all i've been doing is is just keeping them on the one single stem so any side shoots out like that take them away so just got one stem on and hopefully 
we want to get abundance of flowers like this same again these petals are very like the, the they don't like water uh, any water goes on them they, they will get damaged uh, so same again these do need to have a little bit of cover we're all thinking about putting the dahlias and stuff along that part there uh, we'll put some bedding plants out and stuff like that but that's what i'm thinking about doing just a nice run all the way along here where it's just full of dahlias and stuff uh kasamps uh, some graddies maybe uh, we're going to start making progress on this now and getting all this all cleared out uh but yeah like i say nicely so these are definitely flowered better than i did last year because uh, like i say guys i've been reading into it and i have been taking the growing points out as the first start to grow so they cause side shoots so we'll get more and more and then once we start getting the flower heads on we'll just keep this one stem uh, you will get a little premature little flower heads in between these as it grows uh, you just nip them ones out I'm trying to see if it's an example anyway so just for example you see that there that stem there is a single stem so I would take out that little side shoot there that little side shoot there and then if you look at the top we've got three flower heads so I'll take that side one out and also I'll take the other side one out carefully and then that one there will just stay as one and then that will develop one of them like that that's the plan And if you're going to, what we're going to do daily as for shows, you go all the way down on the stem and take off all the side shoots and just make sure you just got one flower head on that one single stem. Like I said, we have been hit with a lot of rain. So as you can see there, little black dots. This is where it's opening up, but also water goes inside of there and it just rot the petals. As you can see, little bits of brown on there. That's why you need to cover over the top of them. But that's going to be next year. We'll sort it all out next year. Uh, but like I say, I've got some lovely stunning Delias. All this now, we're, uh, starting from next week, uh, we're going to start getting all this cleared and uh, taking out all the flowers while starting to die back, like the petunias and stuff and the calendula, uh, the sunflowers. Uh, we're going to go through them. We are just keeping hold of these sunflowers for a little bit longer because he keeps them and he feeds them to his uh, birds these leeks are looking really good so these are the muskrat leeks these leeks are being taken uh, some I'm just keeping just so I can have a little bit of a mess around with but I've got one there which I just took uh, that's going to be for a nice pan of soup also Got that so there we go guys nice big savoy cabbage uh, huge uh, just need to get that cleaned up and then i'll be going home as well we've got some of the pickle and onions just sitting there so they're silver skins my dad's going to take them and he's going to pickle them these are uh, green bean and these are dwarf and these are a variety called Ferrari and they we are starting to get little green beans on them got a spare little patch there this is a no dig bed so that's a spare patch there and we're going to put some stuff inside of there some all year round lettuce the sweet corn is looking really good so this is incredible i'm getting some nice sized cobs on and if we look at this one here this is wild peeled back i'm getting some nice uh, kernels in there that was just a check to see if they're all right basically uh, but yeah i'm very pleased with them Got some lovely leeks there and all grow nicely. Uh, this ground over here. 
So this is the ground we're going to be using for over winter. Uh, so this here is a nice size red cabbage. So I'm going to take that home. I'm going to take that home and harvest that. Happy days. So that one there is a red drum head. We have got some stuff growing there, what we just put in the ground a few weeks ago. And there we'll just put put some more stuff in there. Because like I say, this ground here is going to be getting used just to try and grow some stuff over winter. And then the rest will just be getting just dug over. Uh, I am getting a hold of a rotavator because we're going to start rotavating everything as well. Uh, also inside here I've got some nice purple turnips. These are coming on nicely. Got some nice carrots over there. And got some carrots over there as well. So yeah, like I say guys, we're just starting to get things cleared up now. Uh, turn the grounds over, get everything cleaned up and cleared up. We're, we'll go inside this pony tunnel. So inside of here, uh, I have started making a start of pulling out all the petunias. Uh, this is a watermelon, hasn't really come to nothing. I find them quite hard to grow. We've got some lovely red cherries, tomatoes, we've got some money maker, we've got some more red cherry, some more money maker, red cherry, and some more money maker. We've got a melon, looks like I've got mice. Uh, we've got a, a nice looking melon here, I believe. So that's doing okay. Uh, the leek, this is a big giant leek. This is a big giant leek. It's doing okay. So we're gonna get the rest of these petunias out and clear it up. Got some nice chili plants here, which I'll go through in a minute. But this is the cucumber, which has done absolutely fantastic. Starting to get a little bit of mildew on now, a uh, white powdered mildew. Uh, but the leaves are huge, look the size of the leaves. Uh, but like I say guys, it's just produced cucumbers all day long and absolutely stunning. My Millie loves them. So my daughter absolutely loves these. She can't get enough of them. I'm just going to let her just go along there. Uh, these jalapenos all looking really good. We've got some cherry bomb or cherry booms, which are the little ones there we go so they're turn red they're a mild we've got some nice peppers bell pepper we've got some more of the jalapenos and then we've got some chocolate these are the chocolate habaneros a habanero uh, if you bear with us i will try and find one so there we go and these are red hot these are the hottest ones not going to grow as many chilies as this next year. Not going to bother because they do take a lot of room up. Uh, but like I say, guys, I'm slowly starting to make progress in here and getting it all cleared out. Uh, so it's, once it's all cleared, I can start getting some stuff in here over winter. But I'm really impressed in that leak. That leak's kind of good. Because if you do follow us, uh, that is what I uh, took off a leaf what I bought. I managed to get the grass off it. Uh, I stuck them on some grow light at the beginning of the, well, last year. Let them grow on, then I brought them up to the garden. Just take that off there, just a bit of a sucker. That was just a sucker. Uh, so yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. So there we go guys, uh, what I'll do is we'll go back into the greenhouse and then uh, hopefully we'll get back down to the other garden and I'll quickly show you what's going on down there. Okay, so I'll meet you back inside of the greenhouse. Right guys, uh, back here inside of the greenhouse. Uh, so there we go guys, uh, just a little tour around the garden, just to check on things. Uh, like I say, things are starting to come to end now. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, getting all the garden all cleared up. Uh, or ready for the winter pulling everything out what needs to come out uh, start turning the grounds over and uh, getting it all ready for winter
we are going to do some stuff over winter we're going to use the top of the garden next to the pony tunnel uh, i have been putting some spring cabbages and stuff in there and uh hopefully fingers crossed we'll get some uh, nice crops some early crops in the spring uh where we can harvest that's the plan anyway like i say guys never grow anything over winter before so it's all first time so i'm going to clear what you can grow uh, i'm just going to try a bit of everything and just see what works and what doesn't work that's the plan uh, we're all going to put some stuff inside the pony tunnel uh, i'm in the middle of the process now of getting that cleared out uh, all the tomatoes are starting to come there now just waiting for them to ripe up uh, i've got a nice little melon there which i'm happy with uh, i've got a nice little look, look in the leek there not going to win no competitions uh, but it'd be nice for a pan of soup or i might set that away again uh, back the seed don't know we will see all the chilies and peppers are looking great in there as well but all right guys at this moment of time hopefully in the next four to six weeks uh, this garden will get it all nice and cleared and start getting all dug over uh, ready for the winter time going to do a lot more stuff with flowers next day that's the plan uh, hopefully we're going to have a better night yeah, with the delias and uh, we're going to do that whole ground what i showed you before uh, i do like the burning plants and stuff but it's just it's just a constant deadheading them all the time and it's a lot of work you know so i'm thinking about putting other stuff in like i say with the sams uh some delias and things like that but that's next year we will look into that uh i've got a nice savoy cabbage here which i just stripped back so i'm happy with that lovely got a nice red cabbage here which i'm really pleased with that because some of these I'm going to try and pick up, the red cabbage, and also the onions and all. They're drying out lovely and all. I've got some lovely onions. And then to top it off, I've got some nice fresh eggs. So, some nice fresh eggs. So, there we go, guys. So, what I'm going to do now is, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get down to the other garden. We'll go and have a little look and see what's been going on down there. Uh, we we'll have managed to pull most of the stuff out and starting to get the ground pretty flat. Uh, but like I say, it's a lot of, a lot of timber. Uh, so you need to either get a skip or we're going to be having a fire soon. But I'll show you that when we get down there. So I'll meet you down there, okay, guys? Right guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, just made it down to the another plot now, we're on plot B. Uh, just want to show you the work in progress, what we've been up to, and uh, hopefully what our plans are, what we're going to be doing in the next coming weeks. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'll spin these around now, and we'll have a quick little look, okay? So as you can see guys, we have made some work in progress. Uh, we'll put a load of weed killer down. Also, we've got in there with the fork, and the uh, rake and stuff, and uh, to start Pulling all the bayon weed out, uh, all the the blackberry bush, getting all that out. Uh, just starting to build a load of timber because we've got loads of timber. Uh, I don't really care much for fires down here because they were quite close to houses. Uh, but however, it depends which way the wind is blowing. Not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Uh, I need to get rid of this timber because it's all rotted. It's, you can't use it. It's not good. Who had this plot? last has used it as a, just a wood yard and it's an absolute mess so i'm not bother what people say i don't i don't care uh we're just going to crack on and just get it burned so we can crack on and do some other work inside of here like i say it's been an absolute mess uh, but it is starting to take shape uh, down at the bottom of the garden we've got some nice foundations yeah looks like we're, it's already had some pony tunnels uh, so the plan is is we're going to build a couple of pony tunnels just yeah all that timber there is getting burnt all this ground we're just going to take with time and we're just going to start forking it over once we've got all the mess from here down there yeah, we're going to start forking it over and we're going to try and get as much as the root out as possible because like i say we've got a lot of mares tail in there yeah, we've got big, big grass root balls comfy massive rhubarb crowns uh, big heat there, what we're just pulled and dragged in there, we're just letting that break down. This shed, yeah, this is coming down because it's very unsafe. So all this is coming down and all that's going to be getting burnt as well. But aye, it's a lot, a lot of work here. We need to get it all sorted first so we can actually see what we've got. And then uh, 
take some measurements got to take some measurements of how big we're going to build the tunnels uh, because we've got to ask for permission to believe it or not uh, we've got to write it all down and we've got to send that over to the council and ask for permission to say we're allowed to build uh, these pony tunnels uh, spoke to a couple of other plot holders and they're saying uh, shouldn't be a problem uh, and a lot of them are just happy to see the garden getting transferred back into the garden because like I say uh, this just got used as a wood yard and it's an absolute nightmare but it's a nice size plot yeah I can see a lot of potential in it and uh, like I say really, really looking forward to getting some stuff built inside of here and uh, seeing how things work out but there we go guys uh, I'm going to leave you on that note uh, I have been a bit tied up with uh, some of the little projects running on at the moment so I haven't had much time doing recordings or doing any videos uh, hopefully in the next week or two I'll be getting back to normal and uh, we can start doing some more uh, videos I might do a little one over the weekend uh, just down here because uh, my dad's going to come down and he's going to uh, give us a little hand as well uh, with my mate because he, my dad loves fires so it gives him something to do uh, up the other plot, like I say, guys, we'll just generally just get anything just cleaned up, uh, cleared up, ready for the winter. We're going to use a little patch of the garden. Uh, we're going to try and attempt to grow some stuff over winter. And uh, fingers crossed, we'll get some little crops, hopefully, in the spring. Yeah, that's the plan. But like I say, guys, uh, I will try and keep you posted as much as I can on this plot here. And uh, hopefully, we start seeing some transformation. And uh, we'll start getting these tunnels built and stuff. And uh, going from there. Uh, but there we go. Cheers for now, guys, and I will catch you later.